Sounds like Zan just won this first one. Sounds like Zan won the win. Well, it was a well fought match. Yeah, yeah, again, that's what I said. She, she is one of those characters that uh, I love playing against them from a player perspective, but as, as from a character perspective, it's just one that I have trouble countering a lot of the time. So, uh, yeah, that's the ball game, so. You want to report the score? Or hit that computer? Never been able to figure out the message. Thought there was a GG somewhere. I thought there was six. Yeah. A good fight. There we go. Good fight. Okay. Looks like we're on, uh, or we got a comment saying that we just saw some Captain Falcon play. I don't know if that's they're referring to uh, Captain Falcon being a good counter or if we should be playing Captain Falcon. <laughs> Captain Falcon is not a character I'm super familiar with. You can take over the broadcast. I'm gonna go watch the rest of their uh, watch the rest of their playing real quick. Super well fought match. Thanks for watching the stream, guys. Uh, super fun to get to be on stream, regardless of uh, how the game went in the end. Uh, super good players I've had so far. I've had nothing but tough competition, but. Uh, I'm hoping to uh, turn it around by the end of the season, so. Okay, well, everybody, that was a uh, smash for this week through Ethan. Or not through Ethan, through Nick. Uh, sorry, Ethan's in the background. Um, Zan is currently 2-1 to one sock on his opponent, and I think this will be his second or third win if he wins. Um, Ethan is about to start his second match, I believe. I didn't see who won that one. Um, so you can see there's a little crowd crowding around Zan to see if he's going to be 3-1 and one on the season, which hopefully he will be because uh, he had uh, a little bit of a leg up watching who I played last week because he was watching me while he was waiting on his match. Or not last week, the week before. Yeah, me and Zan played last week, the week before last. Okay, well, Ethan's playing as Falcon against a Ness main. That would have been fun to watch. I know for everybody out there that's watching, uh, I know we definitely have a Lucas main out there. Uh, Zane just won his match. Uh, is that his second or is that his third? It's 2-1 right now. Zane in the lead. So if he gets one more win, he will be 3-1 on the season. And that's the best likely chance to go into playoffs. So that's kind of what we're hoping for. Because we want at least one person to go into playoffs. I don't know if you guys see that in the chat, but Moobot really, uh, <laughs> really let out a book there. If I could take you guys over there, I definitely would. But I'm trying to relay the information as best as I can. Zane's still waiting on his match. And uh, 
Ethan is currently two to three on stocks against the Ness main. I don't know what the sorry about that. I don't know who what the outcome was of the first game. Uh, I should get back to you when I find out that answer. I think the reason that Zan uh, is two and one instead of three and zero right now is because his controls are messed up, and the opponent went ahead and took it onto themselves and. Uh, took two stocks away from Zan, and then it's kind of hard winning a one to three stock match. So uh, Zan kind of got jipped out of that one, but he's come back and he's doing really well. Uh, Zan's mat or manning Bowser like he usually does. You know, he's really good with Bowser, and he's playing against Piranha Plant, which is the guy I played the other week. Which is the Piranha Plant just really likes uh, jumping off the edge and trying to get little edge clips with his mouth. It's a very odd play, but, you know, you respect it to a point. Zayn's having a little bit tough of a time uh, trying to counteract the stage hit, the side of stage hits, because um, Bowser doesn't really have much range other than fire. So... And he has to be right up next to the stage end to hit it. So uh, he's kind of hoping that he jumps onto the stage before he does anything. I hope everybody's having a great day today. Um, I would play right now, but my opponent, he decided to... Uh, Asked to reschedule, which is fine. You know, it's in the rules. It's great. Um, and he actually gave, like, or it was a good reason, you know, so I didn't want to be rude or anything and say no. So um, we're going to keep the competitive spirit alive and go play on Friday. Um, I'm not sure. I'm probably not going to stream because I'm not sure how to set up the stream. Uh, we might. But it's going to be Friday morning about 1130. Uh, for anybody that's in chat that I speak with on the regular, I will tell you guys the score. Uh, if you're not in chat or I don't speak to you on the regular, you guys will hear it next Wednesday, I guess. But let's see, Zan's down to one stock. I don't know what the piranha plan is at right now. So. Piranha plant's also at one stock. We got kind of a close game going on. Well, I keep hitting this with my hat. Let's see. Zane's trying to close it out early, doing the uh, side smash attack, which is apparently the strongest in the game, which seems about right because it's Bowser. But, uh, he's trying to go ahead and win this. Uh, he had a good launch, but it didn't fully do everything. Let's see, the Piranha Plant's still trying to come back, still trying to hit them with their stuff. But Zane's at 129% damage, and the Piranha Plant's at 80%, so it's a really close match. And if Zan wins this match, then he moves on to 3-1 and one and a better likelihood of moving into playoffs. Okay, now they're kind of having a standoff just off to the side of the screen. Not really doing much. Oh, got another good launch from Zan. Not going to do it, though. Prana Plant's still out and about. Okay, Zan just got launched, but he's back in it. Yeah, they just keep they just keep launching each other and coming back and forth. So we're gonna hopefully have a uh, end match soon. In just a second. Okay. Oh. Ah, uh, sadly Zan did get launched, so it's now two and two right now. Um, this is a nail biter of a game, folks. Uh, it was so close. Yeah, technically it should be two and one, 
um, but the opponent does not want to give up that one match that he will win in hopes that they will win fully. Um, it's kind of a tough situation. <laughs> so uh, let's just hope Zan wins this next one and it can just all be over with. I think that's probably the best bet. Uh, Ethan's about to start his third match right now. I'm pretty sure he lost the second one. That Ness man was really good. And they're playing Ness and Falco again. If I'm not mistaken, I believe Cody was supposed to go start a volleyball game at 6. It's currently 6.30, and he has not left the arena. So let's hope he's not in trouble for anything. Ethan got a pretty good combo over there on Ness. He just launched Ness there now, sitting at a 3-2 Ethan stock. Yeah, Ethan's doing really good against this Ness. I don't know. I hope he won his previous two matches. I'm not entirely sure. Um, I guess we'll find out after this match. Let's see. Zan and I think his name's Nick that plays Piranha Plant. Uh, they're going at it again. They're both still three stocks, but the Piranha Plant's just a little bit higher damage percentage. I know this is kind of boring, just me talking about this. Uh, yeah, tune in later on tonight at 8. Uh, I'll be streaming Fortnite. Hopefully we're not going to have any more uh, server issues like last week. That was pretty bad. So hopefully going to be better this week. Uh, yeah. Okay, Ethan is winning a two-to-one stop battle right now. Uh, let's see. So Ethan might have this one in the bag. Suzanne just got a stock on the Prana Plant. So. Okay, Zan did lose his stock. Uh, Zan's still doing pretty good. Uh, Nick is, Nick, his opponent, Nick, is pretty high level on his second stock. So uh, we're hoping that both of them can pull out a win this week. Um, sadly, it's just Nick had a really tough player to play against this week. So uh, Ethan did win his match. Uh, what's Ethan at right now? Ethan is 2-1 right now on his matches. Let's hope for a third and he can get a 3-1 win. I'm not sure where he would be in the season standings. Uh, but, Zan. Come on. They're going back and forth on uh, the damage percents. Uh, Zan still has two stocks. I can't see what Nick, his opponent, has stock wise. Uh, Nick has one stock and he is at almost 100% damage. So Zan hopefully should have this one. Unless something terribly bad happens. If anybody's still here, thank you for staying. I know it's kind of boring just me talking. Uh, this is how it was for Fortnite last week. And uh, 
for everybody that stayed the full three hours was great. Zan just won. He is now officially three and one on the season. Yeah, he won this match three to one. So he moves up officially into the rankings. And me and Zan are in the same group. Uh, sadly, right now I am one and two, but he's three and one. Uh, and hopefully I'll move up to two and two on Friday, depending on how well this person that I'm playing plays. Zan, do you want to come over and do a post-game interview? We're going to try to get Zan over here for a post-game interview in just one moment. Um, thank you for everybody that's still here. <laughs> I'm really sorry. It's kind of boring. Uh, we're just kind of right here. But. Okay, Ethan are both, or Ethan and his opponent are both at two stocks right now. One day, I think a fun stream would be to have six or eight of us. I don't know how many people can play on the Switch for Super Smash Brothers at once. I think it's eight is the most. I really want to do, like, a party smash. I think that would be fun, like, teams. Um, that would be really fun to do. Me and Zan, we're talking about still doing the uh, random the random talk show that we were talking about doing. Uh, that was really fun, so hopefully we can continue that. If you guys don't really want to see it, it's all right. Uh, it's not really going to hurt my feelings too much. But, yeah, Zane currently is 3-1 on the season. He is tied for third, and he is in pretty good position to move up. Okay, now Ethan and his Ness opponent are both one and one stock, but Ethan is at 81% damage, and the Ness is currently still at 0% damage, so we're going to see how that goes. Hey, Zan. You going to come do a post-game interview? Yes. I've been kind of <laughs> doing play-by-plays for him. All right, okay, we have... Uh, we have a very special treat. We have Zan coming off of his win oh. from Smash. He is now 3-1 on the season. How does it make you feel, Zan? It, it makes me feel absolutely great. I don't know if you guys can see it. I'm a little bit shaky. It's mainly my legs. Yeah, his uh, legs are going a mile a minute. Yeah, I, I was really nervous there for a minute because a um, little, little inside story. I'm sure you heard me heard me angry back there. I'm not, not – totally not. The other player was good, but um, – the first match, I had forgotten to set my controls because I had set them, but it was in a different arena, not the one we were playing in. And uh, so my A button, which, as you Smash fans may know, is generally the attack button, uh, was set to jump. And my Y button was set to basic attack. Uh, Bradley, you know how yeah, disorienting yeah, that, that would be. very disorienting, yeah. So I, so I messaged him immediately, right when I noticed it. I was like, hold on, hold on, pause, 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 pause. And I take my hands off the controllers because I'm like, if I'm saying pause, I can't be moving my character around. And, uh, yeah, the other uh, player proceeds to continue to attack my unmoving character. Um, and then his coach was like, oh, what's the issue? I was like, my controls are messed up. Let's, can we, like, not have this be the first match? Can we do another one? And so he said no. And so I was like, okay. So I was two stocks down that first match. I took a stock from him. That made me feel pretty good, even though I was at, like, 170%. Still got a stock off. Um, but then that put me at 0-1 in terms of the match. So then I won my second match, so now I'm 1-1. He won the second one. I got him down to one stock, and he just he nailed me with a, a really good Patui, which is a Piranha Plants neutral B. He was playing Piranha Plant the whole time. I was playing Bowser. Usually I think Piranha Plants work for Bowser. I don't know if they're part of Bowser's army. They're, yeah, well, they're bad guys. Yeah, they're bad guys. But, I'm not um, sure. We'll have to look at that, though. Yeah, 
piranha plant may or may not. You guys look it up at home because I'm not going to look it up. Is piranha plant employed by Bowser for his uh, military regime? Anyways, so then I got really nervous because I'm like, hold up, we're two two. Like, uh, oh, I won a match uh, after that. Uh, so he won a match. I won two matches. He won one match. Now we're two two. That's stressful. Mm -hmm. And he got me down to one stock in like 100%. And like I said, I'm not bad mouth in the other player, but when the only thing you do when you're playing Piranha Plant is hang on ledge, jump up, down B, and then Patui, and then hang on ledge, jump up. He maybe did that move about 100 times during our, our five matches. It's like me with that beast. With that yes. Yeah, yeah. And then I realized, and Bowser's a short range character. Um, but then I remembered just in time, I was at maybe 100%, he was at 111. He goes to down B me, which if you don't know, is the one where you kind of go in the pot and then turn and then snap out. I remember, oh, their head's a hitbox when they do that. So I just side smashed from the side of stage, nailed him, smash attack, got him. Uh, if I had not won that and I got it cheating out, well, okay, I had gotten technicality out of that first match. I would have been livid right now. It would be a very different interview. I would say maybe the first swear words I've said in, in ever. That, that's not true. Um, it would have been bad. The first swear words he would have said on stream. On stream, ever, yeah. You'll never hear me swear because I'm that good cousin who sits at the kids' table because uh, he feels uncomfortable with the amount of the adult's language. That's not actually true, but, you know. You never will hear the good kid complain either. No. Mm -mm. Yeah. But yeah, that was a good match. Oh. Let's see. Oh, he's up. Ethan. Yeah, Ethan is up the stuff currently. Ethan's match. Two to one. Hopefully, we'll have him over for a post game interview also. This Ness is using a lot of PK fire, by the way. If that lets you know how good he is. If that TV could talk, all you would hear is just a little boy screaming. Nice. For record, he's 69%. I don't swear, but I do point out social in the window. Nice. Very good. Just one good area would do it. Oh, oh, okay. Oh. Oh. He was really going at it with those lightning trails. I would have, I would have mistaken him for a snake player with that amount of accuracy. Well, that was round five, so. Yeah, he perfect hit uh, two out of the three of those lightning trails. Top of stage, hitting on off stage. That was crazy. But you know what that means? If that was the end of the fifth round. That means that he got two rounds on him before. So if you're two to two, hey, that's this close, this close to a victory. I, I, I never know which way I should move with respect to the camera yeah, so that they yeah. can see my hand gestures. I should be in an official, before we get him over for the post game interview, I should be in an official Red Hawk jersey, but I'm not. I'm in my, my Bigfoot climbing gym jersey. They're not a sponsor of us in any way, but if you're ever in Morganton, North Carolina, Bigfoot climbing gym. Is an excellent bouldering gym. Speaking of sponsors, let's take a let's take a yeah, shout take out our a, sponsors. Yeah, uh, Red Fox Gaming on uh, Cow Valley Boulevard. Uh, they have everything that gamers or pop culture uh, yeah. enthusiasts uh, could like or love. Pop figures, video games, uh, poster, movie posters, vinyls. They have a bunch of new horror themed figures if you're into that. Um, which they look pretty cool. I went and saw some. They're really cool. And the people um, there are really nice. Yeah, a lot of times awesome. with uh, with video game stores and sort of, they don't do comics, but there's yeah. they're sort of that kind of vibe. Um, mm -hmm. You always worry, you go in and the people like stare at you from the counter and you're like, I feel out of place. Not these people. Yeah. Red Fox Gaming, they're all super cool, super nice. Yeah, they really are. And let's also shout out uh, Corporate Honor, or Corporate Armor with Luke Wally. That's in front of Tech Thank you all for sponsoring us. Uh, it's a very big help to us. 
And thank you to Catawba Valley Community College itself for letting us have this amazing arena and uh, for letting us have the chance to compete in our favorite video games on the colleges we have. Yeah, and absolutely. Mm -hmm. Love this school. If you can come to CVCC, definitely do it. Yep. It's very I would... affordable and it's great teachers. Classes aren't too big. So you can tell the teachers really want you to succeed. Oh, yeah. yeah my accounting class that I just started has four people, including me. <laughs> so it's going to be great. We all know each other. Yeah. Hey, I have started a new class today, and I know none of the people in there because they're all from, like, graphic design. Oh, yeah. I love our graphic design team, by the way, if any of you guys yeah. ever watch this. But they're all, like, from business. And, like, no offense to business majors, but I could tell immediately when they walked in the room, I was like, that's a business major, and that one's a business major. Super nice people, though. I feel Would a little out of place. Yeah. yeah. No, no, no. They, you can tell with some of them. Yeah, they just look the away. Yeah. They, they, he walked in, like, they walked in, and I was like, oh, what kind of major are they? And that's saw their giant, uh, comedically large briefcase, and I was yeah. like, oh, business majors, of course. Yeah, it says business major on the side of it. That, that, it's embroidered. <laughs> I am a business major. Pr it's like those proud parent stickers. Yeah. Like, proud parent of such and such honor. Proud business major. Oh. It was funny, though, because when I walked into the class, I jest about comically large briefcases. One of the graphic design people I knew was a graphic designer because they had, and I kid you not, a, gra a, a comically large easel posted up on their desk, and they were sketching really beautiful artwork. But I was like, oh, I guess they're in an art class or they're just really out of it. Uh, Ethan sadly did lose 3-2. Uh, he played a great game. I watched it. The last game was really close. Uh, if that Ness would have got that second lightning trail on him, he probably would have won at that point. Uh, they were both really high. But, uh, Ethan, do you want to come do a post-game interview or not? Ethan, do post-game interview. Do you want to come do a post-game post interview? interview? You don't have to if you don't want to. You don't have to if you don't want to. I was kind of giving them a play by play. Okay, and now we have Ethan coming off of his play today. He's going to kind of walk you through a little bit. Uh, so you made Falco a lot, yeah? Yeah, I uh, picked him up like two weeks ago just because I learned I'm not going to be able to compete if I can't counter projectiles. Yeah. So I decided to pick up Falco and Gandorf, so it's two kind of different ends. Yeah. Uh, I watched you play Ganondorf the other week. Uh, you're great with both of them, honestly. Um, it's just sadly that Ness got a really lucky hit on you at that last one. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's just, you think they'll be a player considering how well they can maneuver that thing. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I thought you played great. Um, do you want to make a comment or anything about how you played or how your opponent played or anything? Um, I feel like I did pretty well. It's just it's kind of hard to counter that PK Thunder if they yeah. get you in the air with it. Um, but... I mean, overall, it was a pretty good game. Uh, yeah. We went two and three. We just ended up trading off game for game. Um, Is there anything you want to just say to the folks at home if they're still watching? Um, not really. Not really? <laughs> well, thank you, Ethan. Uh, that was Ethan. <laughs> he just finished up his, his match today. And uh, that is everybody that played today. Uh, you heard Nick's statement right after his match, and then Zan and Ethan. Uh, Friday at 11.30 I should play my match and then I'll let you guys know next Wednesday if I do not stream it or I will stream it if I have the ability to. Um, I guess that's going to be all. We're going to try to get Cody over here to uh, sign us off. And uh, yeah, thank you again, Ethan. Thank you. Hey, Cody. Yo. You want to come sign us off? What? Come sign us off? Yeah. Okay. And we got... Cody himself, head coach of the esports team, Ugh. in the flesh. Well, everybody, thanks for joining us for Smash Bros this week. Uh, be sure to come back here in about an hour. We're going to have this guy again, the uh, man cake himself, Bradley. He's going to be streaming doing uh, Fortnite and uh, through Play Versus, which is another um, platform that we compete on. Uh, congratulations this week to Zan, also to Ethan. He had a very hard-fought match. I was over here watching, kind of coaching, seeing what was going on. And, and also to Nick, I had a really tremendous opponent. He's had two this season already. He uh, has a forfeit win, but he has he's played two very tough, uh, competitive people. Bradley will be making up his match, uh, what we said, Friday. So uh, best of luck to him. Um, but another week of Smash in the books. 
for here at Catawba Valley Community College. So we're going to sign off here. As we said, we'll be back in about an hour uh, with uh, Fortnite with this guy, the Man Cake. Uh, but we hope to see you then. We'll end the stream like we always do. Squaw. See y'all here in an hour. See